and let you fall down into holes of depression that you have. Right, so Peter Chance, Peter Chance, what else do you do in um, film? Do you do other things in film? Uh, He's a wrestler? Oh, he did no, the wrestler. You were like, you're a cameraman. I was a, cam I was a camera operator on the wrestler. Now, that is Gary some Austin amazing. Movie. I saw that movie. Did it's, you like it? Um, actually, when I went to see it, I was quite surprised. How, how it turned out in the editing, you mean? Yeah, it, it was one of the craziest things I've ever done. The movie itself? Yeah. Well, how was Mickey Rourke? He was fantastic. And the, the daughter, I, mean, I love her. Yeah. Um, I'm spacing Devin out. Rachel Ray. Yes. She was, she was really great. The it girl. Oh, talking, Speaking Rachel about Marilyn Manson, it's Marilyn, Ray, Man the, the, it's Marilyn Manson. It's Marilyn Manson's birthday today. His Which, former oh, Yeah, girlfriend, that's right? his ex. Everything always goes, yeah. It's she Mar was really great. And, um, She's adorable. If you've seen the movie, the scene where he first encounters her at the doorway yeah. right, of the house mm -hmm. where she's living with her roommate, uh, that's the first time that Mickey Rourke met her. Cool. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, that so was that was a, intentional. Yeah, or that was went uh, over to the director, that. Darren Aronofsky. That was one of his ideas to like not let them meet until they confront each other. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, and it kind of worked. And, you know, for me, it's just like, you know, follow the puck. Right, exactly. Yeah, so. so are you working on any films right now? Uh, no, I've been gainfully unemployed. Join the DOE. So, <laughs> yeah, so... But it's been great. It's been great. It is great. You know, I mean, you're so, doing uh, your music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, and floating around. And Do you have gigs coming up? Actually, yes. We're playing at a new venue on Avenue A at 13th Street called Percy's. Oh, when did that oh, open? Wow. A, I like that. About a month ago. Really? It's yeah. that new? Yeah. It's, it's, uh, it's an Irish and a. pub. It's an Irish pub that opened uh, at 13th and A. We're playing Saturday, January 29th at 10.30. We're doing two sets. Wow. Do you do cover songs? We'll do everything from our CD, uh, some stuff from my former band. What are the names? Give the novellas. The novellas. And uh, we'll also do some covers. We're going to have some special guests come up. Huh. We're featuring uh, this great singer from Arkansas who's going to do some Johnny Cash. Well, Hillary Clinton is the number one woman talking about Arkansas. Yeah. You know, I like to keep it all together. Yeah, yeah. T. Ray Treese has uh, committed. He's going to be in town. He's going to do it. T. Ray. Nice. Um, we have a great singer, Ann Walsh, from the former Marys, which was a great duet. Wow. In the 80s. They were a Hoboken scene band. And uh, unfortunately, Don passed away a long time ago, but he was a great singer songwriter. And you are from Jersey, so, you know, some things well, could come out of Jersey. See you, but them. You have to come down and see Ann Walsh. We're going to do a couple songs by her. She's, you know, the Marys were a great act. That it was like having half of the moms and the pops in the room. Wow, where they, they used to play? Did they used to they play? Were, like they were like the whole Hoboken scene, and you know they played Lower East Side as well. Right. You know? And um, what in the eighties? Yeah, pretty much. You know, into the early nineties. Uh, Don Brody was a singer songwriter. Great guy. Wow. Great, great guy. Great writer. So. Interesting. So, um, what sign are you? Gemini. Me too. No. <laughs> are you Gemini? Are you Sagittarius. Really? Oh, so you just had a birthday? Yeah. Happy, yeah. Wow, happy birthday. Thank you. Was it fun? Of course. I always have fun on my birthday. Oh, I love that. I never use the F word. <laughs> nothing's fun, nothing's easy. Well, if you went and saw Pee Wee, I, I know. The word of the day was fun. So whenever the word fun <laughs> came, everyone had to go. <laughs> so you said the word, man. Yeah, that's the word. Now I only think of Pee Wee and fun. So, um,. What are your goals? Actually, before we hear a goal, we need to hear a skeleton from your closet, Peter okay. Chance, because it is National Whipped Cream Day. Not yet. Well, we need the skeleton first, my love. And then you get some whipped cream right on the arm. Yes. Um, I don't have any. I'm, I'm really big into this, like, honesty thing. Well, it can I'm be also an big into this, um, I'm really big into a couple of things. One of them is a phrase. It's nice to be important. It's more important to be nice. Okay. Which I got from Lieutenant Glenn Wilkinson, who was a lieutenant firefighter at a Greenpoint who died at 9-11. I know this is morbid. Oh, that's I don't okay. care. No, I don't care. No, it's all right. I was at the firehouse and was reading his, his obit. His, they have a beautiful monument and a bio. Wait, where is this firehouse? Uh, what is it? I don't know what number house it is. Uptown, it's, downtown? It's in Greenpoint. It's okay, near, um, it's right off of... Um, Manhattan. What's the main drag? Manhattan Avenue. Manhattan Avenue. I don't know. Yes. Okay. Anyway, it's a beautiful story of his life. And near the end, it says he'll always be remembered for his phrase, it's nice to be important. 
it's more important to be nice, which he got from his father. Nice. I wonder where he got it from, Gandhi? It's, it's an old expression. It's an old expression. I mean, I've always been touched by it, and it's I, nice I kind of try to live by that. That's nice. Yeah. So tell us a story. Like, I mean, I'm sure when you were a kid, at least you stole a piece of gum once, or like, you know. I can tell you a lot of things about nuns. All right. Oh, oh, that, oh, that works. No, Just no. This one. Can I tell you a joke real quick? Sure. Yes. Okay, here's the three pints joke. Okay. A guy goes into a pub, orders three pints against. A little weird. Next night, three pints. Next night, three pints. The regulars. Thank you. The regular, the regular figure, let's go find out what's going on. So the bartender goes down to the other bar and says, what's going on? What's your name? He goes, Seamus. Seamus, what's with the three pints? Oh, that's a, an old customer. My brother's back home in Ireland. Wherever they go drinking, I go drinking with them, and they go drinking with me. Tonight, we're drinking together. A little weird, but Seamus mm. is cool. So every night, three pints. Every night, three pints. Months go by. A year goes by. Every night, three pints. He's a regular. One night, he walks in. And he orders two pints. Regulars get the bartender to find out what's going on. He goes down into the bar and says, Seamus, please tell me nothing happened to one of your brothers back home. Oh, no, 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 no. I quit drinking. All right. Shoot me up, baby. Shoot me up. Hey, arr, arr. National Whipped Cream Day. So what's your website? How do people find you? Um, actually, our website is down. It's Peter. It, no, it's, it's chapter three of the book. You landed in that awkward spot. It's chapter. Th well, you know, it's habit. It's really? There's sorry. a skeleton. Oh, sorry. Oh my God! I keep passing this crazy piece of it's, paraphernalia it's, every time I've been walking my dog. Like the last couple oh, of days. It's, it's like in the same spot. Nobody's moving that paraphernalia. It's chapter three of the band. Dot com, but. Chapter three, the band. Dot com, but the site is down right now. But do tune in for it. We'll give but you one. can also look into uh, Facebook, Chapter Three, the band, and MySpace, Chapter Three. So do you go to MySpace still these days? No, I hear no, I don't. And I, I, I know we don't check our MySpace, and they're really trying to improve it. Like I, I don't either. And but I did go there recently, and they're making it a little easier, and they're trying they to make it nicer. They did change the profile and pages and all that stuff. They're making like songs as links that you can easily like, you know, use a link as a song, like, which I think is an important characteristic. Sure. Because it's hard to do that. Like sometimes to find a link of one of your songs to send someone if they want it as a link. Oh yeah. And MySpace just did that. So I have to shout out to thank you, MySpace, for trying to keep us wanting you. Because I keep hearing it's like the abandoned amusement park. It's a fancier mess. That's yeah. what I've heard. Like, kind of like me, right? It got now. really hard. It got hard to navigate. It was so easy, and then they made it. So I would hard. put songs up, like you know, everything seems like okay, and then like I'd go to back to the profile page, and they weren't there. They weren't there. They yeah, weren't they, there. yeah, they have a new button, I think, to updo your site, and you just have to. Just the gig on the 29th is at 1030. On MySpace it says 330. Oh, they was doing that. Up yeah. to, I, I don't know so, how to do gigs anymore. It's so hard to be like an annoying promoter for your own self I these know. days. You, yeah. need, you need business. You temple. I know. So anyhow, that's why we have Ruined Who. So we can put it up for you. January 29th, the new spot on 13th and A. Percy's. Percy's Irish Pub. It's Percy's Tavern, 13th and A. 1030, <laughs> two sets, special guests, and... Surprises. Ooh, wow. wow. And um, it sounds like a party. Rule of thumb. If you're going to invite belly dancers, tell them 45 minutes early. <laughs> For you? Definitely. You like belly dancers? Well, we learned our lesson. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? Tell them 45 minutes early. Oh, they show up late. <laughs> oh, okay. I get it. I'm a slow learner. But it is the first Wednesday of 2011. When's your birthday, Gemini? Flag day. The 14th. I know you like nice. I'm an American, and it is the day Congress went to order today, once again, for the 112th time. What are you going to do? They freaking made all my children cut off, and today is the anniversary of all my children. So I love you, all my children. We will be right back on Ruin Who, January 5th. Thank you, Ruth. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. 